I never thought I'd end up owning a rooftop tent. Welcome to the channel on a rainy day in the Santa Cruz Mountains. This is the Auto Home Magiolina Extreme. In this video, I'll tell you why I decided to go with a rooftop tent, what made me choose this particular model, some of the reasons it's worked out great for us, and then I'll show you some of the features of this tent, how it operates, and some of the things I like about it. So I'm not sponsored by Auto Home. They didn't ask me to make this video. All the opinions you hear about this tent are my own, and they're all derived from my over a year experience with this tent. I'm only making this video to help anyone else who's maybe deciding on a rooftop tent, and it should be a pretty honest review. When I was considering purchasing an off-road trailer, it really came down to two choices. And when I was going through the decision process about whether to get a teardrop trailer that you climb inside to sleep, or a utility type trailer where I'd put a rooftop tent on the top. With a utility trailer, I could carry a lot more of the gear I want and I could still have a place to sleep by adding a rooftop tent. I didn't really want to get a rooftop tent. I was worried about climbing in and out of it. It might be dangerous. Uh, you could fall out. You could hurt yourself climbing up the ladder. And when you're out in a remote location, that's the last thing you want. On a lot of our trips, by the time we get to camp, it's dark. An important criteria for whatever tent I chose had to be a speedy setup and a speedy takedown. Sometimes you might get somewhere, have to put up your tent real quick, jump in it, uh, sleep for the night in a uh, maybe a rest area. Uh, fortunately, I haven't had to do that. Um, or a quick camping spot. And this tent allows us to set up really quick. Another thing I had to offer, like you might hear in the background a lot of wind, a lot of the places that we go to camp are often very windy. So whatever tent I ended up getting, had to have the ability to handle strong wind. This tent could withstand a 50 mile an hour wind. Another quality that any rooftop tent I was gonna buy was gonna to have to have was the ability to keep us warm and dry and sheltered in snow, heavy rain, uh, all of which we've camped in. We've been in all those different conditions and it's worked very well for us. The other good thing about this tent is you keep your sleeping bags and sleeping gear inside of it. Very difficult to forget your gear or misplace it when it's already inside the tent. And that's another advantage of this tent. When you buy the tent, it comes with a real nice ladder from Auto Home. I wanted something a little more substantial. I chose to upgrade my ladder. And the other thing is, if for some reason I needed a ladder that went up longer, this one will work out. And since I added a little extra unistrut to my rack and an extra support, I've got a good place to strap the ladder. It's a little more substantial ladder, I think, than the one that comes. It's at least a little wider. I'm sure the other one's quite strong. We've had this tent for over a year now, and I was waiting for my trailer to get delivered. We used it on top of the Jeep. And it really worked out pretty well up there too. Let me show you how this tent works. To open up this rooftop tent, you let these clips loose. There's two in the front. There's one around the back here. And we lift the tent with this handy crank handle. It sticks right in here. And it drives a internal worm drive system that lifts the entire tent. Once you have the crank handle installed, it's just a matter of a few rotations, and this tent is up. The great thing about this system is over time, as your tent fabric stretches, you have the ability to tighten it up. Just by cranking the handle a little more. Now I got the fabric nice and tight. It's not going to blow around loose in the wind. If you're finding this video useful, getting any value out of it please consider hitting that subscribe button 
like and leave a comment. It really helps me with the channel. And thank you very much for watching. Auto home tents have been made in Italy for over 60 years. They're made of high quality materials that are thoroughly tested. They come with a five year limited warranty. They have a wide selection of tents available. This hard shell tent is the Magellina Extreme, size small. Two adults fit easily. It's tall enough to sit up in when opened, and there's an insulated cover available for cold weather camping. It also has a rack on top I'll show you later in the video. The tent has been absolutely perfect. I haven't been able to find a defect in it in the last year and a half. Let's climb the ladder and take a look inside this tent. In addition to the doors on either side of the tent that double as windows, there are windows on either end of the tent that when opened allow for great flow through ventilation. There's a nice battery operated LED light mounted on the ceiling. This elastic string is attached in four places around the doors. It helps to pull the sides of the tent in when you're closing it. The material won't get pinched by the hard shell when it's cranked down. You can see where the elastic is attached on either side of the door here in the video. You zip the doors halfway down and then you lay them on top of the elastic when you're closing the tent. That keeps them out of the way. It's a pretty clever idea and it works very well. There's a nice thick memory foam mattress in the tent and I sleep like a baby in this thing. In the ceiling is a cargo net to keep your jacket and other items. Both sides have some handy large pockets for stuff like keys and flashlights. It makes it easy to find those items in the middle of the night. The zippers are all high quality and they should work well for a number of years. And on top of that, you have the five year warranty in case anything goes wrong. The Magellina has an awesome roof rack on it. It can apparently accommodate up to a spare tire. I don't think I'll ever be putting a spare tire on top of my rooftop tent but I probably will put some solar panels up there one day. The Magellina has a pretty aerodynamic shape. I think it cuts through the wind pretty good. I know some of the other tents are a little more bulky. They stick up higher and they have a more square appearance to them. I still love my Spring Bar USA made tent and I'm sure I'll use it again. The Auto Home is pretty expensive but so far it's been a great piece of gear. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.